Hey guys, this is the JPND Kitchen Pantry. This came in these two very large, very heavy boxes. So we're gonna get all these parts out of the box and then we're gonna get this thing assembled so we can see what this thing's like. All right, so lots of pieces here. Uh, there's two boxes. One box is the lower half of the pantry. The other is the top half. So we're gonna assemble the lower half first, get these pieces out of the way, and then we'll assemble the top and then we'll put the two together and uh, see what this thing looks like. So I got the cabinet assembled and installed here in my office. Uh, the assembly did take a while. It's probably about a two hour long assembly. And uh, a couple things to note. So they forgot to send me the feet. So that was a little disappointing right now. And you have to have feet on this because the doors go the whole way to the bottom of the cabinet. So they will not open, they'll drag on the floor without feet. So right now I have it up on uh, two boards, but I talked to the company, they're going to be shipping me those feet. So I really like that they have the soft closing in the drawers and doors. So if you throw it shut, it gets there and then it finishes shutting it nice and slow. Pulls it in real nice, that's nice. The cabinet doors are also like that. And uh, you can see it just shuts them nice and slowly. So I got a bunch of stuff already in here. I like you can adjust the shelf heights, which is really nice. And you can also use this as two lower cabinets. I mean, they're different. One has this drawer section in it and one is just the door section. Uh, but if you don't want the double decker, like the height that this one has, cause that's, I mean, a little over six foot there, uh, you could technically not stack them together. So they just screw together. A couple other things, they forgot a couple of the screws that you need to assemble this. Uh, so I had to use my own screws, not a big deal, but uh, they didn't have enough screws along. And the one screw they used here was the wrong size. And yeah, so, but overall it, it actually looks pretty nice and it works really well. Uh, plenty of room for storage. I got all kinds of stuff you know, I got my rabbit supplies here in the bottom and uh, got some uh, other different stuff up here. So plenty of storage. Uh, it is a little wobbly, you can see, but uh, they do recommend in the directions to attach it to the wall behind it. So you can run a screw through the back and screw it. And if I did that, that would really lock it in place, but not a big deal. It just shifts a little bit when you press on it. So there's a couple things in the directions that were kind of confusing. Uh, you just gotta kind of think through them and figure out what makes sense. A couple of the panels uh, weren't cut quietly. I used a razor blade to cut a little bit away so it fit nicer, uh, but I did get the whole thing together. So as long as you're handy and have some extra tools and screws lying around, you can probably get this thing together no problem. But overall, now that I got those things sorted out and uh, once I get the new feet, this thing is going to be a really nice cabinet. I like all the storage. Turned out pretty nice. Uh, it was a lot of work getting it to this point, but uh, overall I'm pretty happy with it.